Hi, it's Karen with RT Systems, here today to talk to you about the FT8800 from Yezu. That radio has been discontinued, but there are lots of them still out there, and this has to be my absolute favorite radio as far as organizing it and getting it so that you can do so much with it you can do so much at different times just by pushing one button i've shown this to a lot of people at hamfest and they go wow i can do this or this or this with it and it's just exactly what they need let's talk about this radio in respect to the hyper memories and the banks. Banks are set over here. And I'm going to just show you a way to organize that radio. It's just a suggestion and just get more out of it. So we're going to start with some frequencies. Let's just use external data and repeater book. South Bend, Indiana sounds like a good place 25 miles around it and we'll tell it OK. I don't want DMR and I don't want Fusion and I'm going to create a file. And there it is. This radio has left memories and right memories. Notice the right memories are empty. The left memories have frequencies. This is left and right on that radio. That radio is completely independent left and right. It's like having two different radios in the same box. I'm going to reach over here. And I'm going to take, I think I'll take my 440s from down here. And I'm going to cut. And I'm going to paste. And now I have 2 meters on the left and 440 on the right. It's an older convention, but a lot of people like using their radios that way. That's one step of organization I can do with this radio. Briefly, left limit memories, right limit memories, these are for scanning. Home channels, again, left and right, one for each band that the radio will do. And then hyper memories. Hyper memories are not more memory channels. They are a configuration for using these memories in your right and left and clicking on these tabs down here at the bottom. There are six of them. Notice not much is changing as I click through them. That's because they are six configurations. And you can configure the same things six different ways. Let's go back to this one. The frequencies at the top are VFOs. You can use them but remember, when you turn the knob on the radio, it's going to tune away from that frequency. And although in hyper memories you sort of have one touch recall, you don't really have one touch recall. It's not like a memory channel where you can just go back to channel 14 and you're on the same frequency again. I need to move away from this screen just a minute and show you one other setting that's real important if you're going to use hyper memories. We're going to go settings, radio menu settings, and right here, hyper right. It's very important. When it's set to manual, which is what we set it to by default, if you make changes in your hyper memory while you're operating the radio in a certain hyper memory, they are not automatically saved you would have to go through a series of keystrokes to save those changes in that hypermemory configuration. If you have it set to auto, any changes you make are saved. So if you were to change your home return or if you were to change your memory scan, it would automatically be that way when you return to that hypermemory. So all of a sudden, you don't have as much control because you're spending the time to set it up here. And this is how you want it to perform every time you use it. You may want it to save things that you do when you change. If so, come in here and set it to auto, and that's the easiest way to do it. But with it set to manual, you're in control. The changes you make here don't change just because you Diddle with the radio when you're in a certain hyper memory. These are the two most important 
items on this screen mode. You can be in VFO, on your home channels, or in memory. Most people want to set this to memory because they're setting up their memory channels, their left and right memory channels, and that's what they want to use all the time. But generally what happens if you bump a button on the face of the radio is you've bumped one of these hyper memories and you've come over to one that's set to VFO and all of a sudden you think, oh my goodness, I've lost all my memory channels. I've lost everything. Well, no, you haven't lost everything. It's just in a different part of the radio's brain. Come back to hyper memory one where you know you set it up and everything will come back the way you expected it to be. We're going to go back to the memory channels now. Now that we've got the radio in memory mode, we're going to go back to the memory channels and I'm going to show you my favorite way to use these. We're going to go to bank settings. Now, when you reduce the screen for bank settings, we leave your frequency, your name, the comment, and let's say this is a trip and I want these three or four for the first day. I want these three or four for the second day. I want 146.52. And I want that in there all the time. And I want these three or four for the third day. And the same thing with the left memories or the right memories. I want these three or four on the first day, these three or four on the second day, these three or four on the third day, and then this one every day after that. Now I have banks set up. I have something in every bank. And I go back to hypermemory one. By default, the hypermemories work in all memories but I can just as easily have it work in bank one on the left and still have all memories on the right. And just think if my memories were duplicated over there, I'd have all my two meters over there at the same time. Or I can have a different bank, same bank or different bank on the right. Memory channel, I can go to channel five and to channel 53 with one button press. If 5 and 53 are not in bank 1, it will just default to the first channel that's in bank 1. DTMF number. DTMF numbers are set up in your settings. And this option will have you dial a certain DTMF number when you're in that hyper memory. What's nice about that is you could set one of these up for an echo link access or other things that need DTMF or for calling home. And then you don't have to worry that it's going to call the right number or not. You don't have to turn the knob on the radio to say, oh, which one am I doing? You know that it's automatically going to be doing that one. Which VFO are you going to be in? Notice I can be in any one of them. I can be in the same one on both sides if I want. Home return. When you've been using your home channel, are you going to come back to memory or VFO? Special scan, band scan, programmable memory scan. You can set these up differently so it, the radio scans differently. On the left and the right, it scans differently. And you only thought you bought one radio. You actually bought 12 of them. And there's a lot you can do here with them. Okay, memory scan. This has to do with, let's go back to the memory channels. Scan, skip, and P scan. Notice there are six different skip settings here. With this combination, you can scan with P scan, you scan just a select group of memory channels. With skip, you skip a channel completely. Off, it's included in scanning. And you have six different configurations you can do. And then you access them by quickly pressing a hypermemory button. And those are the ones that scan. 
auto repeater shift if you click it and turn it off you do all your tuning auto am is for receiving vfo tracking is a satellite function vfo band edge determines whether the radio steps to the next band when scanning or stays within the same one menu number i can choose the menu item that first appears when I press the set button and go into menu mode. They remain in alphabetical order. This is just going to be the first one it goes to. So if you're playing with lock all the time, you might want to set it to lock. So then when you press the set key, it immediately goes to the lock function without you having to turn the knob and get there. I can put my main on the right and left. I can set packet options differently. And my sub display, and one of them can be frequency, and the next one it can be CWID, and the next one it can be DCN, so I know what the power is doing. And I can turn it off, so on one of them I'm only working one frequency. That can be set separately in each one. That's the point here. These are set up six different ways. You'll find the same settings on all six tabs. There's a lot to keep up with here. And there's more information in the help file. Hypermemory programming. We have a general overview of what's going on here. And I suggest some organization. This one for hypermemory programming talks about every option on that screen and gives you a description of what it's doing. So at your leisure, you can go through and read over what I told you about there real quick. We've got the same kind of thing for memory channels, home channels, regular memory channels, all the details here. This is one of my big help files. Programming other set menu items, everything that's on that screen. I talk about it Remember, anything it's, that's in red, that was a gotcha when I was working with the radio, and I'm trying to point it out to you so that you can catch that information quickly and not trip over it when you're working with the radio. Hope this helps you get the most out of that radio you can, because believe me, you've got one of the best ones. If you have questions, feel free to contact us. This is Karen, K0RTX. I'll catch you later.